strange. Stranger than strange. Stranger than strange. Strange. Hey, how are you doing? <laughs> Today's vlog is all about these two little nutters. These are my nephews. What's your name? My name's Riley and I'm my skateboard. Show me your tricks then, dude. Show me, show me. Oh my God, how cool is that? Now sing a song. Oh, come on, back, fold it back, fold it back. And who do we have over here? Alfie, and I'm listening to my shoe. <clears throat> what? Step in time, step in time, step in time, step in time. Hey! Those two are loonies. Sure, 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 and say bye. Say bye. tune in. Bye. See ya, bye. bye. Morning, you crazy dudes. Um, I thought I would just wake up the morning with a, a little bit of info, a little bit of expressive uh, support for other artists, I suppose. Um, so basically, who I'm listening to at the moment, which I'm really excited about. I'm not going to talk about too many people, but. So one person is Billy Lockett, and Billy Lockett is an amazing pianoist. He plays an amazing piano, he sings amazing songs, and he's very um, sort of soulful, and it's all like quite folk, really ballady, and so check him out. His name is Billy Lockett, and you'll find him on Billy Lockett, at Billy Lockett, or Billy Lockett Facebook, Instagram. He's all over the shop at the moment, he's becoming very, very good and big. One other person I'm loving at the moment is Jazz Morley. Now, she's really, really cool. She reminds me a bit of Karen Carpenter. If anyone knows, don't know who Karen Carpenter is, she was one, two, one of the two people of the Carpenters, so, um, and I was brought up on that meme. So, uh, yeah, Jazz Morley, Billy Lockett. Find them, uh, listen to their music, and tell me what you think as well. This should go up on my blog at some point anyway. So, um, yeah, I am just walking to the gym. Got the old Adidas on. It looks like it's gonna rain. I think um, keeping in shape and making sure your body's healthy and your mind's clear and uh, looking after yourself is so important, especially in this business. So I'm at the gym doing a little workout. show you this is where I grew up and that in the background is my primary school all Saints primary school how funny is that and beyond that is a church if you can see some of it and that's the church I went to all Saints school primary school I was only a little baby then so basically I've brought you down here where I used to sing as a kid where I first found my voice and my uh, love of singing and we did weddings and sadness and funerals and I sang for many years. Uh, we used to run down there when we were children and it used to be quite scary we thought that was where everyone was buried. We also used to learn loads and loads and loads of hymns as well so I'm, I can't even remember most of them now and that I'm doing my own material and stuff but it was a great beginning and a great start for me as a singer and then where I'm going to today so yeah a really beautiful beautiful church. I'm sure sometimes you can go in. I will check just in case it'd be really lovely to go in there. No, it's not it's not open. Yeah, very fond memories of this place. That's my church. So basically some days when I'm here in London and I stay with these beautiful human beings, I do a Parkinson's class with uh, my friend Fifi's parents, well her mum in general, because she has Parkinson's. So I'm gonna show you what we do. And slowly. Let it out. You raise your arms up as well. Okay. One more. Inhale through your nose. Slowly let it out. Go ahead, interlock your hands over your heart or over your chest. Palms facing you. Big inhale through the nose. Flip your palms towards the front and go ahead, as you exhale, press your arms away. 
So just another little bit of fitness, an intense walk. Helps with your body getting a little bit lean, helps you lose weight, and it pokes up your bum as well. Believe it or not, I'm actually walking through a cemetery. Mm. Walk with the dead, invite them in. Let them be one with your creativity. And just get on with it. I'm on my way now to uh, Liverpool Street Station. About to go down to Shoreditch, East London, and do a shoot with John Hughes. He's an amazing uh, street photographer. He's bringing his friend Tom, by the way, as well. But he also joined us with on the, the live fashion show with Dan Harley um, a month or so ago when we done the AIDS um, awareness show on the streets. I've asked John to uh, yeah, take some pictures of me and stuff, and he's really excited. So, and he's also an amazing street photographer as well. So, I'm taking him out of his comfort zone today. I'm sure we're going to get some amazing stuff uh, to uh, update my portfolio and for you guys to see some new images of me looking a bit more schlick and a bit more crisp. It's Saturday, the sun's out, it may rain at four. I'm taking a brolly out. So, here we are in the city of London with the old Armani suit on. And that's basically my backdrop. Epic, almost Blade Runner like. Rachel! So we are just at Brick Lane about to do some more shooting. Uh, it's just started raining, but they're okay, they're professionals. We're going to do it in the rain. I'm in the get up. Nice socks. Scaffolding! So occasionally I go walking in the woods. Pure exercise and um, the love of nature. The love of nature brings me here to the woods. The smell of bark, good trees, wonderful scenery. And a fantastic place to take selfies. I'm a singer, a songwriter, a model, and also David Attenborough. So now I'm going to take you very close to the tree of life. How wonderful. In colour, in green, in beauty. And occasionally you get to hide behind it. Welcome to the woodland. Completely feel wiped out. The weekend was long, the shoot was amazing. Sometimes catches up with you. Energy levels go out the window and you feel like. Is it all worth it? And I sometimes feel like that. At times, I get like that. But I'm only human, so that's obvious. Um, I will. Keep you updated, still in it, and some great news about music stuff as well coming up. I think I'm finally going to be working with someone that my manager's found for me, which is wicked. I'm going to have a little snooze, I feel really sleepy. Yeah. And um, I'll speak to you soon. All around a very good and constructive, creative weekend. But I am white. Later is lights out. And as you can see, I'm in the bed. Um, and no, I'm not living inside a library either. You see lots of books. So today, um, I've been chilling out actually, not doing too much. But there's been lots going on and uh, lots of things that have been happening also in my life, which is good as well. So in regards to music, my manager has found for me to work with, which uh, this guy is up in Sheffield, and I'm really excited about that, so brilliant. Also got a few more shoots in the pipeline and some film stuff, which is coming up as well, which is really exciting too. Tonight, I may have a little gig booked, which sounds really cool, which is at the Alley Cats in Soho. Um, it's a nice little venue, so I'm just waiting to hear back more on that. It's obviously really good to get out and gig and do some cool stuff. Um, and oh, another thing as well. I went out on a date tonight. I'm not going to tell you who he is, but um, I did, and it was really lovely. If he gets to watch this, you know who you are, son. It was sweet. So hopefully see him again. 
And um, what else has happened? That's it. So I'm going to have some sleep, get up in the morning and go and meet one of my really good friends, Bev. I love her and she loves me dearly too. Cool. Ciao. So I've just come to my uh, dad's house and we're watching Box Trolls. This is Riley. Say hello, Riley. Say hello. Hello. What are you doing there? What are you playing? Thank you. Love you too. Family love. I'm just going to pick his nose now. I'm going to pick his nose. Mm, 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 mm. Say bye.